This is the INC360 Flow, a three-axis gimbal stabilizer for phones, I mean for Android phone or the iPhones like this. This is a completely new product in the category of phone stabilizer. You, you might be wondering why INC360, a company that is very ambitious in 360 camera, action camera, and the pro level VR solution, they choose this category to try to figure out a brand new market for the customers. To answer this question, we have to make several episodes focusing on this product, the INC360 Flow, and we're gonna cut this long video into several episodes and just make a deep investigation on this product, the design engineer, the interface, even the design philosophy behind the scenes. This is the Insta360 Flow. I have never seen a phone, three-axis phone stabilizer that fits in my pocket. Just so small and compact, even built with a selfie stick, and it's built even with a tripod. This is pretty insane. I mean, this is perhaps the smallest three-axis gimbal stabilizer on the market for phones, but also the most functional design that ever happened on the market. Take out your flow, and take out your phone, just snap, bend over, and you are good to go. And this Insta360 app is gonna automatically detect this flow through access gimbal and open the app. You can tap the record button on the control wheel and start recording immediately. The handle is small and compact, but it's built with the tripod. It can extend as a grip and you can extend further over. Thus make it a multifunctional, a large tripod for the phone stabilizer. And yes, and this is exactly the Insta360 Flow designed for. Full functional. It will extend with a selfie stick. Take a look. Extend with selfie stick, build as a tripod, Three axis gimbal and it face a lithium battery in the vertical axis. So now let's go to the boxing section. Just take a close look at the design and the detail and reveal some of the astonishing detail in the box and the package. First, let's take a brief unboxing of the Insta360 Flow. What I'm holding in my hand is the Creator Kit. The Insta360 Flow was marketed as an AI powered smartphone stabilizer. This is actually a three axis gimbal stabilizer designed for iPhone and Android phones. In the creator kit, you get some extra accessories such as the fill light, a very fashionable transparent bag, and even more. So the package itself consists of two parts, left and right. Actually, you got the stabilizer on the left side and the bone accessory on the right side. It's a magnetic design. On the side, you got six different scenarios. So how compact it fit in your pocket. And this one, it's pretty firm and small to hold in your hand. The phone was designed to feel magnetically with the phone case, the phone clamp, and with a, a built-in selfie stick, you can literally capture some very challenging shot with your phone. And you also could shot in time-lapse with selfies with you and your pets. The flow itself, a magnetic phone clamp, a C to A charging cable, a C to C phone cable. I mean, the charging cable could recharge your uh, flow as well as your Android phone. But for the C to C cable, is it literally designed to charge your Android phone? And this one, C to Lightning, it is MFI standard. It could charge your iPhone on the go. And you also get some extra Accessories such as the spotlight, the carry bag. I mean, it is a foldable design, it's super compact. I mean, it is literally the smallest design for the three axis gimbal stabilizers that at the same time with a built-in tripod and a built-in selfie stick, you can even change the orientation at the end of the selfie stick. So on the other side, you got to see some main key highlight for this product. It is three axis stabilization, uh, foldable and portable, it literally has a very powerful auto shooting for photo as well as video. Designed with magnetic phone clamp and all day battery life because for the software, it immigrated some of the amazing 
features from the Insta 360 ecosystem, such as the Deep Track 3.0, uh, and AI power editing, the Smart Wheel, and more. We're gonna cover in our uh, next episode. This is how small and compact it is to hold the Insta 360 for you. It's just so small. I have never seen a gimbal stabilizer that is so elegant, beautiful, and foldable and compact design. I mean, at the same time, it fits a little better on the side. A selfie stick in the middle and a built-in tripod with three with two sections all around this place. Touch control, buttons, joystick. It is an integral design built with white color, very beautiful design. A phone clamp, I mean this is a phone clamp. This is a spotlight. A spotlight with constant color temperature mode that can adjust. It can be fit nicely with this clamp. I will show you later on. And you can also change the temperature and it can charge via a type C port where you can take a full advantage of this USB-C output port on the side of the Insta360 flow. A USB-C to C cable, a vertical design, a USB-C to Apple Lightning connector made for iPhone. This is very important for the grip to hold your gimbal stabilizer more firmly and more reliable. A transparent bag, which make this product very fashionable. If you only want to carry this flow product, this is how you can put all of the accessories right inside this. Just throw it all of them inside. This one has a baby skin, a surface design. It is a little bit slippery, I, I mean, a little bit slippery. But once you uh, mount this, it dramatically improve the overall experience for the flow product. And it also fits nicely together. And look at how it protect my Insta360 flow, because I have dropped this product to the ground several times and with the white grip silicone rubber it helped me protect this product. This phone clamp designed with a magnetic locking alignment system on the back so it is an anti-twist system and it, it will rotate with the inner access motor and this is how you could clamp this is my iPhone 13 mini clamp in the middle because so this gimbal stabilizer is very really strong and powerful. It literally could carry the phone really firmly. Next one, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial to get your hands on the Insta360 flow because the user interface for the flow has been completely redesigned. Just take a closer look at the design in detail. I mean, this is a USB-C port designed for power output. And on the side of the, of the control wheel, you have a USB-C input power port that you can charge this flow. It's quite different from any other competitors. Intel 360 engineer has placed a lithium battery. It uh, looks like it is a full-size uh, 18650 lithium battery. And also place a control the circuit board, the drive board for three motors right in the vertical axis and with a transparent cover. Makes the whole design very impressive and very advanced. You can even open the door, and this is actually a coaxial mount. This is a coaxial mount. You can mount your wireless microphone system on the middle axis, and you can even place your uh, customized cover under the transparent uh, frame that to make your Insta360 flow more uh, stylish. Uh, four LED icons, a joystick, three buttons. Record the power on and switch, and a control wheel, the integrated control wheel. More importantly, this piece of design also supports touch control, so you can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Next one, let's deploy this Insta360 flow. First, step number one place this phone clamp in the middle of your phone. It's a locking mechanism. It's done. Step number three, it looks like a magic. Take a look, it looks like a magic. It will definitely blow your mind. Did you see the indication light? 
indication icon. Step number three, just rotate. Do you see that? Rotate, and you are good to go. And we automatically power on, get to connect with the phone. And if you long press, you can turn it off. And more importantly, on the back, you see a, a quarter-inch mount thread hole on the bottom. So you can mount your uh, customized tripod or you can mount on your other systems. But here's the magic. Here's a real trick. I take them out. You can extend a handle with two sections. It's built with aluminum. So it's doubled as a tripod. Take a look. You now have a tripod on the bottom. So and it's an integrated tripod with two sections. If you only use a section number one, it could be doubled as your hand handle. Because for some of you guys, it might have a, a big hand. The handle itself is, is quite short, but with the extension, it feels more firmly in your hand. And the three tripod legs could lock each other. So it's very stable when you place them back. You can even extend with an integrated selfie stick. Take a look. One, two, three, four, five. Five sections. It has a built-in tripod, a built-in selfie stick. And you can even rotate. It's a GoPro style finger mount. And you can rotate vertically like this. So you can use the selfie stick as a handle to capture some very low angle shot like this. That is to say, inside the selfie stick, you also have a, a spring cable that connect this interface the circuit board. This is a very complicated design, but overall, it gives users a very simple and elegant interface. This is definitely a brilliant design from the, the team Insta360. Okay, now I have already powered on my Insta360 Flow, and I'm also gonna share with you my screen capture, because I want to demonstrate, I want to show you how you can literally interact with the Insta360 Flow on the basis of all of this amazing design on the interface, including the joystick, the buttons, different working mode, the scrolling wheel, the buttons on the back side. You can literally control the phone to control the panning angle, the tilting angle, and you can literally customize the scrolling wheel. The change to control the rolling angle axis as well. And on the Insta360 Flow is quite different from any other competitors. This is a, the first time that a gimbal stabilizer has implemented an auto, auto mode. The auto mode can automatically detect your movement, your scenarios, and quickly adapt to your, uh, to the working mode, and quickly adapt to the best working mode. And coming next, when you are scrolling clockwise, uh, you can turn to the next working mode. For example, in this case, it is the following mode. And scrolling to scrolling clockwise, now you are in the pitch following mode, the most commonly used model on the Insta360 Flow in my content creation. Normally speaking, I place at the auto or pitch following. And coming next, it's the FPV mode. Your gimbal stabilizer is gonna follow every axis, any every axis the panning, the tilting, and rolling angle slowly, just exactly like you are flying a, a FPV drone. And on the back side, you have already see there's a, a buttons. A buttons. If you long press, you are now in the full locking mode. Here I would like to show you. You're gonna see some result. Long press, you're now in the lock mode. Take a look. You're now in the lock mode. In the lock mode, it's gonna locked to the penny tilting and rolling angle. So your phone is literally locked to the axis of the inertial world. And uh, if you stop pressing the button, you will switch back to the previous working mode, like FPV. If you're rotating counterclockwise, you can cycle through different working modes, just like this. Take a look. And if you short tap, 
if you uh, short tap and long press, short tap and long press, you are now entering the active plus mode. The active plus mode is an additional working mode on the basis of auto following, pitch following at PV mode. I mean the active plus gonna make this gimbal stabilizer very sensitive to every tiny little movement you are pressing on this whole system. So it's a quickly adapt to the mode. Uh, this is what's so-called sports mode in the competitor's product. But this is active, it is called so-called active plus on the Insta360 flow. I mean if you are not familiar with the, the the touch panel. So this touch panel also support tap. If you tap, I mean if you tap the record button, if you double tap the record button, you can switch in between different mode. Double tap, double tap, and double double tap the switch button. It will also be doubled as a mode switch as well. So this is a multifunctional user interface. Not only it is a touch sensitive, but you can also press each one of the button and double press, triple press. Now you have different interaction with the Insta360 flow. And the coming next, I would like to show you more about the exact the potential of this whole system. I mean, take a look. The record button. And yes, take take a look. You can record the video or take a photo immediately with your phone because your wire is connected into the Insta360 app. Stop, stop recording. And this is a switch button. If you single tap, you can switch in between the different lens. I'm now in the, the selfie mode. Then the single tap once again. We are switch back to the rear lens. The, the front lens, the rear lens. The front lens. I mean, once you are shooting with the, the front lens, it will automatically detect your face in the middle. So no matter where you go, this camera is gimbal stable. I'm gonna follow, gonna follow it all the way around your places. So this is exactly what I I feel that this product is very user friendly. And if you can short press to stop tracking your face, and you can also enable the, the tracking feature within the Intel 360 app. This is an, also another killer feature I will show you later on. And uh, if you uh, double press, you can switch in between horizontal or vertical. I mean, this is a, a landscape or portrait. Double tap, go back to the portrait mode. Single press, go back to the rear lens. And you can also triple press. If you triple press, you can switch in between the photo mode or the video mode. This is also a shortcut, but this is quite a little bit complicated for you to understand, to memorize all of these settings within your mind. Triple press. Now switch back to the video mode, but you have to triple press really fast. And this one is power on the bob off button. If you single tap, you can see the remain battery life. Now you are, we have 100% battery left, the single press is LED going to be doubled as your remaining battery life indicators. And if you long press, you can stop. I mean, you can put your gimbal stabilizer into the sleep mode. Just, just turn off the three axis motors. But if you long press once again, it go back to normal really, really fast. This is exactly how it works. and. What fancy me most is it's a scrolling wheel. I mean, a scrolling wheel looks just like a magic. If you're scrolling, you are literally switch in between in video mode. For example, in my uh, iPhone 30 mini, I don't have two different lenses. To take a look, the super wide angle lens and the, the prime wide angle lens. So the maximum, the maximum field of view can be achieved when you scrolling scroll the wheel. The 0.5x, this is super wide angle lens, is around 40 millimeters equivalent. And if you rotate the scrolling wheel clockwise, they can make a similar transition in between the super wide angle lens all the way up to the, the prime lens, which is 1x. And scrolling once again, you can zoom up to 
three times. And once you tap into photo mode, things got a little bit trickier. Uh, you, you also get a super wide angle lens without any crop. But when you zoom all the way up to the prime lens, you can achieve up to 5x digital zoom. This is another killer feature. To take the full advantage of this native camera on your phones, including iPhone and Android. So this is exactly what I love about this app as well. This has a similar experience compared to the iPhone native camera, but sometimes it might be even better compared with the native camera. Okay, and next one also have you got this, this button. If you tap the button, you can uh, track the object in the middle of the frame. Take a look. A single tap. Now you have locked to the object in the middle of the frame. So this is exactly you can. Um, I put this the wall charger. So it will track the object without any problem. And this was a deep track. This was a deep track 3.0 algorithm. The deep track even works when you switch between different lens. This is just insane. I mean, this is just insane. This is perhaps one of the best feature that ever happened on the phone gimbal stabilizer. When you switch back to the, the prime lens to the super wide angle lens, the deep track also works. Take a look. This is pretty unique. This is how you can enable deep track and cancel the deep track as well. And for this button, if you are double press, go back to center. To go back to the center, and if you triple press, you can switch back in between the selfie mode. I mean, in this mode, you can literally capture a high quality portrait mode, portrait shot with the the rear camera which is has a, a better image of quality compared with the triple press once again go back to normal so this is literally how you can interact with the insta 360 flow on the basis of this touch panel the joystick controlling wheel and buttons on the back one thing i have to mention that this little, tiny little guy has a built-in selfie stick, a built-in grip, a built-in tripod, a built-in listen battery, and a built-in tons of amazing software algorithm that truly make this Insta360 flow revolutionary user-friendly. I'm gonna turn off my studio light and I'm gonna show you the spotlight. I mean, it's a spotlight that has three different color temperature and three different brightness as well. So to speak, now let's take a look. Turn off my main light and turn off the top down shot. And I will only leave this, this is the aperture pixel tube in the back of my studio light as the backdrop. I can easily clap the spotlight the fill light on the side of my magnetic phone clamp and clamp the C port on the other side. Now this light has turned off automatically for you. I think you have already seen that. The spotlight is now working. Take a look, it's now working. And then on, on the top of the button, you have two buttons. You have two buttons. Tab, you can switch in between different temperature, warm tone, cool tone, and the daylight. Warm, cool, daylight. Different brightness. Brightness number one, number two, number three. And just take a look at how it will light up your face. I will turn off all of this light in my studio. And there's only the spotlight in the dark. Take a look, I mean, I mean you can literally um, double press. You're now in the portrait mode. Double press, single press. You can switch back in between the portrait. This is what it looks like when you record in the dark, in the photo mode, switch back to the video mode. 
it will work automatically for you. And this is how your face is gonna look like. This is before, this is before, and this is after. This is how we can record the selfie vlog in the super dark shadow areas. I can switch back into the warm tone. This is how it looks like, warm tone. And turn off the filter. I can literally turn off the filter. This is original color, warm tone, cool tone. It's a daylight. So this is what I love about spot. I always put the daylight as a default in the center of my spot, on the top of my spotlight. And it can light up my face. Uh, take a look. Now the eyes will be set to uh, 16,000. Double press. Now th the shutter speed has been set to 1 over 30, but the ISO has been lowered down to uh, 800, which indicates that it's, it, the spotlight is now twice brighter. And you don't have to worry about the battery life because uh, it be charged via this Type C port in the inner axis. So this is literally how this spotlight gonna work. It'll be compatible with your industry safety flow and seamlessly merge to your workflow. And that definitely will improve your low light video performance. Let's give you more flexibility when you create content of clocking selfie vlog with the Incensor 60 flow and your phone. Okay, I will turn back to my studio light. This is how it looks like. And this is before and it's after. So even in the bright sunlight area, the spot will also work a little bit more dynamic detail in the portrait. So the Insta360 flow designed with a rapidly employment, one step employment. Now we're gonna fold up and put it back in our package. So first you have to uh, put back the built-in tripod, but you have carefully, you have to carefully align all this if it fits. Fits nicely, place it back, and see the arrows indication, just rotate. And we automatically power off the gimbal stabilizers. Put it back, lock in the middle, take out the magnetic phone and the spotlight. Place the gimbal stabilizer into the package and you are good to go. That's how simple and intuitive it is to establish the flow with one step employment and Deployment. Here I would like to show you how to capture amazing low light 360 photos on the Insta 360 photo. You have to invert, take a look, you have to invert clamp to phone. I mean, this is a, a very special orientation for the phone clamp in combination with the phone. And the result gonna blow your mind away. I think this is one of the best feature for me to take high quality 360 photos, 360 panoramic photo with the my phone camera. Uh, just watch out how the flow could achieve such an amazing point of view. I'll leave a five second countdown and it automatically rotate to capture the photos all around 360 space with pre-calibrated uh, field of view and uh, it looks like this iPhone you know, takes full advantage of the super wide angle lens. And take a look. When I capture each one of the shots, I stand behind the rear camera so that the photographer could always be invisible in the final shot. And we take around, uh, it is with several photos. I think it is really fast. And the phone gonna lock the exposure, and capture each one of the shots with all exposure. But overall, the exposure is very precise and the quality just looks gorgeous. And the 360 image stitching happens exactly in real time inside the phone because stitching the process and we'll see the result.
I think I've learned a lot from the unboxing. Take a closer look at the design and engineering in the detail. I think you might have your per first impression on this product. But more importantly, this is not just a piece of hardware for content creators like me. Apart from the hardware, the design, the detail, Insus360 as a company has emigrated all of the, perhaps all of the shiny detail, shiny technology from their 360 camera and action camera. They emigrated all of this killer feature that bring back into the Insus360 flow and it works on your phone, your Android and iPhone as well. So in the coming next episode, you're going to focus on some software highlight, the software the workflow. It is just how easy it is to get established the Insta360 flow and emigrate, emigrate and fit this product into your everyday life. Stay tuned on our next episode. And if you found this video helpful, so that is all about episode one of the Insta360 flow. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you in our next episode. Bye.